We crafted this telescope with the intention of peering into the earliest galaxies that illuminated the universe. Upon witnessing its remarkable capabilities, within just 12 hours, we felt certain that whatever exists out there, we are bound to observe it. A significant development has surfaced in the realm of astronomy, thanks to recent revelations by the Webb Telescope shedding light on previously unknown facets of our universe. Traditionally, everything in the universe follows a pattern of having a beginning and an end. However, does this principle extend to our universe as well? While our physics theories propose that our universe commenced roughly 14 billion years ago, recent observations using the state-of-the-art Webb telescope challenge the notion of a distinct beginning. The telescope, launched not long ago, has unveiled unexpected insights into the early universe. Embark on an interstellar journey with cosmic discovery. Subscribe now to witness the unfolding mysteries of the cosmos through the lens of our cutting-edge telescope. Join us as we redefine the limits of our universe and explore the wonders beyond new images captured by the telescope disclose that the distant past of the universe does not appear markedly different from our present universe. This presents a profound challenge for astronomy. Consider this. If our universe indeed had a definite beginning, then when we peer back into its early stages, we would anticipate spotting fewer galaxies, possibly with peculiar shapes, smaller sizes, and primarily composed of lighter elements like hydrogen and helium. Surprisingly, when the Webb telescope captured these early distant galaxies, scientists found them to be incredibly massive and bright, with some even surpassing the size of our own Milky Way. Furthermore, the telescope has uncovered numerous other peculiar galaxies, prompting a significant question. Why are we observing a universe billions of light years away that mirrors our own? The Webb telescope is emerging as a formidable challenger to our current theories about the universe, as each image it captures continues to defy our existing understanding. Scientists are encountering unexpected phenomena with every image from the telescope. What is causing our current model to falter? And could the latest revelations from the Webb Telescope pose a challenge to establish scientific norms? Notably, the Webb Telescope recently captured a breathtaking sight, the most distant galaxy ever observed, named GZ-113. This galaxy existed around 350 million years after the Big Bang, providing a remarkable glimpse into the very early stages of the universe's formation. This galaxy represents the farthest confirmed discovery yet, but the telescope has identified numerous other potential galaxies at even greater distances that await verification. Some of these galaxies exhibit a red shift of about 20, which is astounding and contradicts our standard cosmological models. Additionally, the Webb telescope identified the second and fourth most distant confirmed galaxies ever observed. This discovery has expanded the observable universe significantly. Beyond these most distant galaxies lie other cosmic structures, but light from those objects has yet to reach the mirror of the Webb telescope unveiling more mysteries of the universe. In the near future, we anticipate the discovery of even more cosmic phenomena, unraveling a broader frontier at the edge of our observational capabilities in the universe. However, certain objects remain beyond our reach, as light from them will never reach us. This is due to the dominating influence of the rapidly accelerating expansion of our universe, especially beyond a certain distance known as the cosmic horizon. Some galaxies situated beyond the cosmic horizon are receding from us at a speed surpassing that of their emitted light, exacerbating the ongoing crisis in cosmology. The Webb Telescope's findings have brought to light galaxies that are significantly larger than our own. The Webb Telescope's findings have brought to light galaxies that are significantly larger than our own, emerging just 500 to 700 million years after the Big Bang. These colossal galaxies boast masses a trillion times that of our Sun, or are ten times the size of our Milky Way galaxy. Erica Nelson, an assistant professor of astrophysics at the University of Colorado Boulder and a co-author of the study, remarked on the unexpected maturity of these potential galaxies, comparing them to our 13-billion-year-old galaxy. The early universe, by conventional expectations, 
shouldn't have organized itself so rapidly. Another groundbreaking discovery is the presence of heavy elements in some young early galaxies similar to those found in present-day galaxies. This revelation challenges our current models as, according to preliminary results, these so-called teenage galaxies forming two to three billion years after the Big Bang exhibit unusual heat and contain unexpected elements like nickel, notoriously challenging to observe. Astonishingly, considering that our Sun is four billion years old and acquired most of its heavier metals over approximately eight billion years, the stars in these galaxies began forming heavy elements within just one billion years. This poses a compelling question about the accelerated evolution of these celestial bodies in the early stages of the universe. Lead author Alison Strom from Northwestern University expressed her astonishment, stating, Never in my wildest dreams did I imagine we would observe nickel. What has been revealed thus far is that the early universe, situated billions of light years away from us, bears surprising similarities to the present universe. These revelations challenge our established belief that the universe began around 14 billion years ago. Even the most sophisticated supercomputer simulations based on physics theories fall short in explaining the observations made by the James Webb Telescope. Many scientists are now questioning the accuracy of our understanding of the age of the universe. On one hand, some propose that our universe may not have had a definitive beginning. This raises the fundamental question. Where does it all start? What significant event initiates the cosmic journey? While the detailed philosophy may differ, this notion echoes the old steady-state model, favored by thinkers like Newton and initially resisted by Einstein, who preferred a universe that existed throughout time. Another pivotal revelation from the Webb Telescope indicates a discrepancy in the expansion rate of our universe as measured by the cosmic microwave background. According to this background, the expansion occurs at a rate of approximately 67.5 kilometers per s per megaparsec. However, when measuring the distance of specific stars discovered by the Webb telescope, an estimated expansion rate of 73 kilometers per s per megaparsec emerges. This has led some scientists to question whether the cosmic microwave background radiation is truly a remnant of the Big Bang. The cosmic microwave background radiation serves as the last observable glow of our early universe and is foundational to the Big Bang model. The standard cosmological model is built on the evolution from the cosmic background radiation to the present universe. The Webb Telescope's discoveries imply that the universe might not have had a clear beginning, but instead has always existed. The perceived Big Bang could be just a particular moment in the ongoing evolution of this eternally existing causal set rather than a true beginning. While these revelations open new avenues of inquiry, it remains unclear if this no-beginning causal approach can accommodate physical theories capable of describing the complex evolution of the universe during the Big Bang. As you conclude watching this video, we invite you to share your thoughts on these intriguing discoveries in the comments section.